My name is Jan and this is Surprised by Marriage. Logan is not joining me today because I wanted to share a little bit my, about my journey praying for my spouse, Logan, and for our marriage. And I also wanted to share a new resource with all of you. So here we go. If you've been watching any of our videos, you know that we are big fans of praying together and just prayer in general. <laughs> And we've been doing it for our entire marriage and even before that, but it wasn't until a few years into our marriage that I realized I wasn't doing a very good job about praying for Logan. And it was actually the book, The Power of a Praying Wife, that made me realize this. And it's not a Catholic book, but I still got a lot out of it, and I do recommend it, so I'm going to link it below. But not only did it make me realize that I needed to be better about praying for Logan, I also needed to be specific in my prayers for him. And that's why I love this new book that came out by Katie Warner. She sent me a copy and she didn't ask me to do a video. I just love it so much that I wanted to do one to share it with all of you. It's called A Spouse Who Prays, A Guide to Praying for Your Spouse and for Your Marriage. And it brings you through the whole year. You can use this for one whole year. And if I think it's a great gift idea, but if you're gonna give it to a couple, you need to give them two copies because you want them each to have their own. You're gonna pick one day a week to sit down with this journal because there's 52 prompts basically so just the first one i'll show you this is the page it's faith and then i'll have bible quotes or quotes from saints about that particular topic which is faith um, and then there's going to have a spot for prayer intentions for your spouse and i love how katie says that you want to be specific with your intentions because i've definitely learned that i do need to be specific in how i'm praying for logan and then they have a little prayer following that and then a place for a spiritual bouquet. And if you're not familiar with that concept, basically you offer all these prayers, whether it's a rosary, a mass, just a simple Hail Mary prayers, you offer those to a person for a specific intention. And so I think that's really cool throughout the week. You can keep track of the prayers that you are praying for your spouse. And then when you are done this whole book, which is a whole year, there's 52 weeks, you can give this to your spouse and they can see how much you prayed for them, which is just a really beautiful thing. So there are some Catholic elements, although you can still use it even if you aren't Catholic, but do know that there are certain Catholic elements. Like one of the um, topics is devotion to Mary, the angels and saints. But I just love how there's a specific thing you are praying for and thinking about each week and that you're being specific about your prayers for your spouse and that you're keeping track of all your prayers it's just really cool and so i'm gonna um the link for this is below and then to close out i just wanted to share a story um about a time that i was praying for logan and i really saw the fruits of my prayers for him when i was pregnant with our middle child who is now five it was probably our most difficult pregnancy for a bunch of different reasons i mean pregnancy is just hard in general because just for a bunch of reasons <laughs> pregnancy is hard but this particular time um Logan was feeling the pressure for sure because they're like the pregnancy was not going well at all. He was stressed. I mean, he had to he worked full time. He might have even been working part time too. I don't really remember, but I can't do a whole lot when I'm pregnant. So he has to make up for all of that. So he had a lot on his plate and we had a toddler, crazy toddler. It was just a rough time and I couldn't physically do anything for him. So I was like, you know what? I know he needs prayer, so I'm going to pray for him. And there was actually this one time I was really frustrated with him because of he was getting on me about not doing things. Like he didn't want me to do things because I was pregnant and I have contractions all the time and he was just constantly telling me to stop doing things. And I wanted him to trust me to know my limits, basically. So I journaled about my frustrations with Logan and I was just saying, I wrote down this, this doesn't sound terrible, but Logan knows it, that he was stressing me out more than the actual pregnancy and I was really frustrated. So I journaled about it and I prayed for him and I asked for the intercession of St. Joseph because I knew he could understand the pressure that Logan was feeling caring for his family and his pregnant wife. So I prayed and literally the next day, Logan came out to me and he was like, I'm not gonna tell you for the rest of the pregnancy what to do. Like he was basically gonna trust me <laughs> to do what I was supposed to do. And I was just like, did you read my journal? <laughs> Cause I couldn't believe it. It was literally when I was, I had written and prayed about that he brought up to me and said he wasn't gonna do that anymore. And I was like, oh my gosh, like prayer is so powerful. And that is just one example. So just imagine if you were praying for your spouse every single day, whew, 
Highly recommend it, by the way. We actually, one last thing before I close out, we actually have these prayers that we laminated and we have right next to our sink in our bathroom. We each have our own sink and we each have a certain prayer next to our sink. So we are praying that prayer every single day for each other. And it's a reminder that we should be praying for each other because we understand life is busy and we forget. And so it's good to have reminders. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you for joining me and make sure you check out Katie Warner's new book, A Spouse Who Prays. See you next time.